So, hello everyone. This is the 13th episode, I think. Yeah, of this uh, season. We are. Uh, I've been uh, out of town for quite some time, so I ended. Uh, I mean, I discontinued a bit my casting. Also, I think I play too little. If I want to rank up to higher ranks, I have to play more than one or two matches per episode, so next season I will play more. <coughs> so, uh, so far I'm rank 11th. I changed the, my mage list again. And I got sick. Uh, it was, uh, I think, Thursday. We went to a club in Berlin. It was called uh, Fuwilde Renate. If you happen to go in Berlin, try to visit the club. It's actually very interesting. It's um, it's in an abandoned house uh, with uh, very small rooms uh, on two floors. There's also a labyrinth in it. So it's pretty cool. Against a mage, I may like this one. I don't like this one. This one is okay. He's probably yeah, an agro mage, which is the trend of the moment. Mm, not the strongest draw. Not the strongest draw I could do. Yeah, some sort of crappy agro mage. Let's kill it. <laughs> yeah, definitely a mage. Oh well. Mm. You see, my new Star Cup, the uh, Starbucks Cup. Mm. So I'm gonna play this one here. Let's see how he reacts. I mean, I don't mind if he play if he draws one out of the Acolyte of Pain. Okay, okay, you're right, you're right. You're drawing out of your acolyte. What can I do? I could polymorph it, but I think it's overrated. So I'm gonna just kill this guy and wait. Ah, oh, crap. <sighs> One of the good thing about uh, the uh, standard agro mage build it, is that he uses these kind of creatures, which are really bad. Yeah, there you go. So 
he may now have a blizzard for flame strike, but I don't mind much. Anavir into Arcane Mysos, really. Thanks. Thanks. Ooh. Sweet. And... Come on, play another card. I know you want to play another card. Come on. Play some Yeti or some crap. Mm -hmm. I see, I see. So... Basically here I could flame strike. I think I will do. I want to play Izer on turn 9. So on the next turn, I may want to Blizzard. Yeah, Blizzard will be sweet. I'm worried because I did not see any polymorph here. So I may want to try to bite a polymorph. And to bite a polymorph, I'm probably needing uh, one of these. Combatero. You know what, he may have flame strike, so I don't give a shit about. Uh, yeah. Now, he may be willing to play the polymorph now if he has it. So let's see. He does not have it. <coughs> okay. And then it's going to be there, my friend. Right to your face. Defender of Argus, something like that. Polymorph. Sure. 
he should have, you know, a mage with the full power of a mage is like really powerful. So. I'm gonna clear this guy for good. Oops, I, sh I should have. Oops. I wanted to kill this guy, I was. Uh, yeah, well. If I lose for this. Yep. <laughs> Stupid of me. Yeah, well. Now let's kill it. Very nice. So it's gonna be 7 plus 4, 11, right? Yeah. So basically, it's okay to play aggro mage, but uh, why you should not play big vanillas for free, like uh, the 6, 7. They're very weak, is there is so much stronger, so... Sure. The idea behind my version of the mage deck is to play aggressive, but uh, rather than playing very strange cards like um, Grey Ogre or Yeti, you play more valuable cards. <coughs> like for instance, uh, Argent Commander, Zero. The, the rest of the deck is pretty similar to the to the aggro mage. Just uh, on the heavy side of the the mana curve, we have uh, more valuable creatures, more valuable cards. Okay, guys, I will see you soon in the next episode. And uh, for the next season, I will probably try to play more games so I can rank up more. Cheers.